Al Madison. Yeah, it has been a headache for so many drivers. If you've driven on East Loop 820, you know there are construction barrels and cones from 30 all the way up towards North Loop 820. And unfortunately, that project is not quite done yet. It's a huge long-term construction project that is already significantly changing the way that you drive from East Fort Worth up to Hearst and Richland Hills. They're adding lanes to East Loop 820 and 121 while also reworking service roads and creating new flyover ramps connecting 121 to and from East Loop 820. It's all in an effort to alleviate congestion on what is one of the state's most congested roadways. This is part of the uh, Texas Transportation Commission's and the governor's uh, Clear Lanes Initiative, where they would they go looking throughout the state, find those pinch points, and, uh, and start construction projects to relieve congestion in those areas. So road work started in 2018 and has an estimated cost of $174 million. Some of the big changes, like the flyover ramp from 121 East to East Loop 820 South, are already in place, but more changes are on the horizon. In the near term future, we're looking to complete the new State Highway 10 bridge in that area uh, and do additional work um, demolishing the old structures. So. There's a lot going on there. Like you said, it's a $174 million project. That is quite an investment, and that's going to really improve mobility and, and relieve congestion in that area. And believe it or not, TxDOT tells me that they do expect the project to be finished in 2023. So, guys, that just means we have a little over a year left to go. Yeah, I mean, just a little bit longer. That's all. <laughs> Madison, thank you.